Okay, it's the Saturday before Christmas, and uh, well, the only thing that might change if you notice I've painted the red bits grey now to give them a second coat of paint because these uh, these planks here are uh, not really uh, they're not treated wood, whereas the cross ones, though I painted them, are actually uh, treated wood, so theoretically, and this one around here is. Just be fence posts which last a long time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, at the moment there's nothing holding them together, uh, so I've got to um, drill holes and screw them together. Also, that one, if you notice, is kind of a bit low um, compared to where it should be. Then I take these blocks, saw them to the correct length, this is basically just a block of plastic, and we need to uh, saw it to the correct length and uh, support it underneath and then if I get chance I'm then going to foam fill the gaps and uh, you start, I have to start actually having to cover this thing over to stop the water getting in otherwise it won't run out so fill that gap underneath there it'll uh, water will run won't be able to run out through it okay that's the plan of campaign so let's get started okay I've now uh, screwed everything in Everything bolted, the uh, bit hanging down is no longer hanging down, the wooden box of plastic blocks are in place, holding it to isolate it. And I've uh, started doing the gap filler around the edge. Unfortunately it's uh, at one rather large can and it really didn't get much round. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to need to do is, uh, I think I need another oh, maybe five cans of the stuff fill underneath. But anyway, I suppose new, new one wasn't going to be enough, but uh, did somewhat less than I was expecting. All right, anyway, onward for the moment. Next, I suppose I need to paint this on and we'll start over there. And I'm going away this way, and hopefully by that time this stuff's hardened, doesn't make any Cut it off and paint it. I still have to repaint that bit again. I'll put the gap for the when I finally get that far. Anyway, onward. Okay, I haven't finished the painting yet, but I've just run out of a painting one pot, so before I open a new pot, I thought I'd go and have lunch. So I'm only going to do it up to here, and we'll leave this bit until after. Uh, I, well, I'll have to be tomorrow now. Uh, I need to cut off the uh, foam bit that sticks out and paint the whole area down to the ground so that uh, foam is not exposed to ultraviolet rays and thus not decays about. Oh, that's the idea. Anyway, it's always be glad when this base is over with. I think you start getting something a bit constructual. In case you're interested, I've ordered the uh, wood, which hasn't been delivered yet, for the for the uh, main part of the, uh, the shed. So we've got the base laying down, which will cover this, and then we can actually start, well in fact I'm more likely to do the walls, end wall first, then this wall, this wall, and maybe this one, in fact possibly this one third and that one over there, uh, fourth. Uh, and then we can put the flooring down, I've got to actually at some point uh, lay the damp course as well, which I don't think we're going to have enough of because Again, like everything, I've uh, sort of extended it compared to what I originally had in mind. I mean, so I think I need a bit more. Okay, I've carved off some of the front, but it's still a part uh, of this foam front of the frame. I meant uh, it's a little bit soft, so I'm going to wait until it hardens a bit more and then give it a sand down. You then need to paint it. Uh, Similar thing on that side, and uh, I'm not going to bother with this stuff in the middle because uh, nobody's actually going to see that when I finally sort of get the flooring down. Okay, I seem to have gone for a two tone grey colour. Uh, I thought the greys were the same, but they seem to be slightly different. This one's definitely a more bluey grey, and that's a more grey grey. <laughs> it's generally painted. The only thing I really need to do is fill these holes around the bolts. That one I've done, painted over. 
and that one I've done and painted over. I should have really done that first rather than actually uh, done all the uh, stuff underneath first. Oh, well, anyway. And tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to start laying the uh, damp course. I don't think we've got enough to cover the whole thing, but um, it should should start anyway. Okay, I will uh, now I've got to take the boys to um, violin. And as per normal, I guess it's going to be dark by the time I get back. So that's going to be more or less it for today. Although I might nip to be in queue while they're in violin to get um, some more foamy stuff. And uh, then we can uh, we can progress. Okay. Onward. Oh, I wonder if they've got any more damp balls as well. Onward. Okay, last night in the dark, I filled up these holes where the bolts are bolted into the concrete below, into the concrete anchors. Uh, you didn't see that on the video because I uh, uh, basically it was dark. So eventually I'm going to smooth them over like that. Okay, today, campaign, I've got some damp course, got two rolls of 30 metres, and we need to lay that on the top and glue it down. I've got some uh, glue for felt, which hopefully should work. And then we'll have the top effectively, uh, well, hopefully fairly much fully waterproof from rain falling below. And also to act as a damp course, which is the whole purpose of the exercise. Ah, uh, also got some, uh, a bit more filling out, but uh, not that you really notice. Got a long, long way to go yet. Let me just fill out this bit. Uh, okay, on wood. Okay, that's the first one done. I've glued it down and then nailed it with felt nails, galvanised. So it should have fairly waterproof. Uh, barrier for the flooring which is going to go rest on, rest on this. So of course it's already isolated by the little uh, blocks and things so hopefully this should base should get shouldn't get too wet anyway and this is just to make sure it doesn't get any further. Okay rather a lot more to do. <sighs> Onward. Right it is many hours later and I've finally got all the uh, damp course in. The moment they're all nailed or stapled. Uh, stapled I need to go over with some, uh, some more of the blackjack to turn it on this bit here. Can't see the staples very well. So that's basically to stop them rusting. Or at least rusting long enough to put the rest of the uh, shed up. Then afterwards I get a chance I'm going to put some uh, foam along there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough to get along there. Possibly even fill up this bit, finally fill up the floor of this bit. I'll have to do something else at the front, not sure what yet. Uh, put some sort of way where uh, air can get in and out and keep the underside dry and water get out if need be. The stuff around the side is basically to stop uh, uh, water getting in so it doesn't flow underneath. Okay, onward. Okay, it's uh, up. Um, quarter past three and it's going to get dark very soon uh, unfortunately I didn't quite have enough of the uh, blackjack uh, use the whole tin up to totally cover all those little staples so uh, I'm not too worried about it actually because well, basically it is glued down and uh, uh, staples might rust but uh, oh well hopefully they'll last long enough also did some filling in of the around the edge. I'm doing it that side, that side, and I started this side, but I need another can. The only reason for getting the can was actually do the uh, uh, do the holes, which you can't see anymore, for uh, putting the uh, tar glue stuff on the top. Fat check glue. Ah, okay. And that was face basically using the rest of it up. I've got to leave that to harden and fill in any places that got missed. And uh, well, we're getting there. As for the front, uh, well, we have a 
see quite a large gap, but I don't want to put some sort of grill or whatever over that. Got loads of bits of metal, uh, which look like they might be useful for that purpose. So, effectively stop anything getting in, but allowing the air to circulate and dry the thing out underneath. Okay, I think that's going to be it for today. I've got tomorrow off as well, so uh, not sure how much we'll get done tomorrow. I really need a delivery of wood. I've ordered, but it hasn't been delivered yet. <laughs> Though they promised it would be delivered on the uh, 25th. Though I have somehow doubt that. <laughs> oh, I'd be surprised if it is. But I will um, ha I have been has been known. But deliveries are sort of like almost midnight. That was from Amazon. I guess they pay the driver by the number of deliveries they do, so obviously he was working late. Anyway, onward. <laughs>